Tanjir. Uh, good morning, uh, dear students of management accounting. Uh, we are still demonstrating the cost estimation method, and uh, here there is an illustration on how to use the regression to determine the total costs in management accounting. We will start by the simple regression, where our equation equals to y uh, equals to a plus bx, as I said uh, when I was introducing the method. Y is the total cost, a is the constant, and the b is a, a coefficient, and this coefficient determines the variation or the variable cost, whereby x is now our independent variable. If you want to determine the total cost using the regression method, as I said, you need to calculate A and you also need to calculate B. While uh, A, uh, even though A is constant, but it needs to be calculated, and the B is a, a variable cost, also need to be calculated. Our A will be equal to the summation of the Y divided by N minus B, Summation of x divided by by n. Y here is the total cost that uh, we are predicting, or the total cost from the historical uh, situation. And the n is the number of years observation. And then uh, b is what we uh, we will also calculate. While the x is our independent variable, which are the number of units that we want to produce, or the units that we want to sell. Uh, then B will be determined based on the N. N is the number of years of, of observation. And then summation of uh, X, factor of Y, minus the summation of X, factor of the summation of Y, divided by N, summation of X squared, minus uh, summation of X squared, bracket. As I said, X being the independent variable, and the Y being the total cost. Uh, we have this illustration. We are assuming our x, our x is number of units, as I said, and the y is the total cost per each uh, level of unit to be produced or to be sold. We are taking a random uh, number of units. Here it is one, but this is in term, in uh, hundreds. One for the first year, two for the second year up to seven. It means our uh, our x n equals to seven. Then while the y, which is the total cost uh, for the first year equals to 40, 45, 50, 65, 70, 70, and 80. We want to apply our e e equation, the, the simple re uh, regression model whereby we will calculate A and also B, and the X will also be uh, given to allow us to calculate the total cost. Now, our A, if we apply the formula, equals to the summation of Y. You can now see this table. In this table, it's better because in A, A and B, X times Y will be needed, X squared will also be needed, and the Y squared will also be uh, needed, plus their summations. So I've drawn this table that will allow us to have all the figures that we will now want to determine A and B. Now, the summation of X is 28. 28 is the number of the total unit to be sold or produced for the seven years observation from 1 to 7. If you take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, they are equal to 28. This is the number of... Uh, unit, but I said they are in hundreds. Then why? Why represent the total costs? 40, 45, the summation is 420, and the, 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 when we multiply x, x to y, you take 1 times 40 to be 40, 2 times 45 to be 90, you continue up to the last year, which is uh, year number 7. You take... Um, uh, 7 times 8 to be given to give you 560. Now the summation of x y equals to 1870. Now x squared 
1 squared uh, equals to 1, 2 squared 4, and you continue. And the y squared, you also have the, the same numbers. And then when you are giving the summation, when you take, you want to calculate the summation, it gives you 26,550. Now, uh, the summation of x equals to 28, summation of y equals to 480, summation of uh, xy equals to 1,870, summation of x squared equals to 140, and the summation of y squared equals to 26,550. By replacing in calculating B, we will now have 7, 7 that replaces N, factor of 1,870, the summation of XY, minus 28, which is the summation of X, factor of uh, 420, which is the sum of Y. And then all, uh, this divide by 7, which is uh, uh, n factor of x squared. The x squared is one for, uh, 420. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. X, x squared is 140 minus, uh, minus uh, uh, x squared, which is 28 squared. Now you can now see here uh, b equals to 6.67. Then, because b is known, we need to calculate a. You cannot calculate a if b is not known. So the first step is to start by b. And then a, a as in the formula indicates, a will be equal to the summation of y over n minus b summation of x over, over n. Already we have all the numbers here, just a matter of replacing. It's 420 divided by 7 uh, minus 6. 6 is now the B that we have calculated, the variable cost per unit. Uh, 6.79 times 28. 28 is the summation of X and then divide by 7. You can now see here that our A equals to 32.87. The A, we say it's a fixed cost. Now, our total cost, if we come back to our linear uh, regression uh, model, where our A will be equal to 32.84 plus 6.79x. X is not known and it can be also assumed. Now, we are assuming that the company wishes to produce 3.5 units. If the company wishes to produce a 3.5 unit, our total cost will be equal to 32.8 plus 6.79 factor of the X. The X is the number of units that the company wishes to produce. If you multiply, you will see that the total cost to produce 3.5 unit is 56.565. That is considered to be the total cost. You can assume uh, any level of output. You can assume any level of output either on 6, either on 7, either on 400 or 500. Uh, thank you so much as uh, we are also prepared to have an example on regression method using a multiple regression model. Thank you.